Hi, Twin Flames. This is a reading about what the Divine Masculine will choose in the year 2023. Welcome to my channel. I'm Lisi. I'm a Master Certified Ascension Coach with Twin Flames Heart's Desire, and I'm affiliated with Twin Flames Universe. And today is New Year's Day, so happy 2023. And I'm here to bring you a message that uh, the Divine and Spirit would like to share with you through the card. So I'm going to share with you which decks I've been guided to pull. We've got the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, and we've got the Soul's Journey. So lots of blue today. I decided to wear blue as well. Let's go ahead and get started because we want to get right to it, and I'll just keep pulling cards until it's complete. So the first card you get is Rejoice in Celebration, and this is the Three of Cups. So some of you know Tarot. The Three of Cups energy is wonderful. So there's an energy um, in your Twin Flame union of a rejoicing coming. And so this reading is about like what the Divine Masculine will choose. But I do want to tell you a secret, Twin Flames, about the Divine Masculine. Because as a lot of you are Divine Feminines watching this channel. The Divine Masculine will choose as you do inside, in your heart. So if you choose, if you claim this... Your twin flame is also choosing this as one with you. If you are choosing your fears or your doubts, that's what they're choosing too. So it is, you are, you do share one overarching consciousness and you choose as one. So there's some, there's like a celebration energy coming, kind of like um, a long time in coming where um, you already have this celebration, but it's more like you recognize it, like you're recognizing the celebration, like you're, you're, there's, there's something here. We're going to clarify this. So let's pull the next card. Oh, good. <laughs> That's what you're celebrating. Positive movement forward. Now, this is not something that you just sit around, um, and wait for this boat to come and scoop you up and pick you up and put you on the boat, right? How does this person move forward on the boat? They've got to get on the boat. Then they've got to raise their sails and sit and, and sail. Yes, there's the power of the sun. Yes, there's the power of the wind, which are given to you, right? Like you, you don't have to pay for love, right? You, you get love, but there's a specific dynamic in this earthly realm that you need to pay attention to, which is that there is an energy balance that needs to be maintained in order to play, you know, it's, it's a play, a pay to play game in this world and, and work must be done. So you must get on the boat and you must make an effort to raise those sails and you must probably purchase a boat, right? But this thing is that you're finally celebrating um, some of your investments and your, your twin flame is choosing that too. Like, hey, whatever situation I'm in, I'm in this karmic situation, if you want to call it that, um, and I'm ready to get out and I'm ready for love, right? Like you're choosing that. That's like this energy of like finally having this like relief because you're choosing to support yourself and you're choosing love. Let's pull the next card. Patience and planning. So yeah, there is celebration and movement, but it's balanced, right? So your divine masculine and you are choosing as one to create balance. I think in the past, maybe you offset yourselves a little bit, like you came off balance because you tried to get this stuff without grounding. Um, you, you tried to like jump over some steps and that's called spiritual bypassing. You can look up that term. It's where you try to go over doing um, the grounded inner work to get what you think you should have now. But the truth is like you have it already now in in spirit, in truth, and you need to find some balance with this forward momentum and grounding. So do you choose this divine feminines? If you're choosing this, your divine masculine is also choosing this, the, the patience and planning. Like that's just really about grounding. Um, I feel like there's like one or two more cards coming out of this deck. Okay, so you have obstacles and challenges, and this is the reason that this is coming up in your reading is not to say, you know, not to make you feel bad, but it's it's not, not about the challenge itself. It's about what you do. What do you do when you get to a challenge? 
So here you see the divine masculine, I guess. I guess that's their masculine feet. I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't matter, by the way, what body you're in. It could be a masculine and a female body. Anyway, um, you is your divine masculine going to stop when you get to an obstacle or are you going to move forward? Five is a number of change, right? It really goes along with this card. So do you choose divine feminines? Do you choose to move through your challenges and claim your support, right? All these little baubles here are symbols of support, right? You don't need to do this alone. You don't need to um, try your ascension journey alone. In fact, it's impossible. At some point, you, you can do all the work you can on your own by yourself, but at some point, you do need support to get across. But are you going to shy away from claiming that support? Are you going to shy away from this step that you need to take or are you going to move forward and your divine masculine will choose as you choose so let's do one more like i said awareness good so this is a card that um it just kind of like ties up that first deck that we're using um and just says okay now you have the awareness a you and your twin flame make the same choices at the same time because you're one and b um, you have an awareness of the choices ahead of you to move forward versus not. And to see like, you know, you may have been feeling frustrated for, for a couple of reasons. Let's go back through the cards just one more time. You may have felt frustrated because you didn't know that you had to actually get a boat and get on the boat. You were kind of like waiting for like that guy on top of a roof when the flood came. You know that story where he waits for God and he sends him all these boats and things and he doesn't in helicopters he doesn't get on so you need to actually do something physical like um, take a step meaning like claim your support claim the tools that you need to heal but that once you do that you're gonna be smooth sailing the awareness also is that um, maybe you did not balance yourself when you did have breakthroughs in the past and then you experience something like a sand castle crumbling into the sea well this year no more of that you're going to take grounded, supported steps through your challenges, right? And your divine masculine is going to choose this too because you choose as one. So this reading is really also guiding you into what union consciousness is and what um, the teachings of union are. And I'm going to tell you about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But you can also check out the links in the description box. So I have one more deck. Um, let's go to that one. So we're moving to the soul's journey deck. And let's see, what will the divine masculine be choosing? And it's also you, but kind of shifting gears here. All right, courage. So perhaps um, your divine masculine is not feeling courage right now. And I think there's a lot of pressure in this world for the divine masculine to feel courage and be strong but the thing is like they're just human too right like you're a human they're a human you can't expect them to have what you don't and so in this place like you can just really um in your heart like whether you're in contact or not in your heart encourage yourself and your twin flame like give, give yourself courage and let that extend into your union and extend to your twin flame so there's going to be a choice here and actually, this really ties in to the last, you know, the first part of the reading where it's about taking that step through your challenges, right? So do you choose to have courage? Do you choose to encourage yourself? I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And this is also, you can't really have that fearlessness without knowing that there's spirit behind you. God is behind you. You are supported always. There's never a moment when you're not. Okay, let's go to the next card. We've got worry. So there's your divine masculine is worried about something. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's, um, they're, oh, they're worried about losing their freedom. Like there's a lot of concern and worry coming up. And you can just let this go. Um, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Good. And how can you help your divine masculine here with this worry? You choose to let go of your worry, right? You do your inner work about whatever it is you're worried about. And this, your whole union chooses as one. So I have strategies for you to do that. There's a specific 
way that you heal. I'll tell you about that at the end. Next card. So this year in 2023 is going to be about relationships. Um, relationship first with yourself and then your your union. So the order of relationship is, and I learned this from my teachers, Jeff and Shalia, who wrote this book back here, um, you are first and foremost, you relate to your, to your creator and yourself, right? It's kind of like one thing, but it's God first, then you, then your twin flame, then everybody else. I think a lot of you are kind of working through this because there are some people that you have put in your twin flame's place or even in your place. Like if you, some people put their twin flame in front of themselves, that's not correct. That's not the order of relationship. So once you do that, once you actually realize that your relationship with God comes first, then your relationship with yourself, then your relationship with your twin, and then everyone else, then you can start to have like really healthy relationships with others, like really um, feeling secure and grounded in how you relate to other people, right? Like feeling um, like there's going to be some relationships that you might need to let go of because they aren't serving you or... It's not that they're they're meant to like, you know, serve you like a servant. Like that's not what I mean. What I mean is like these relationships are not healthy. There there's some relationships that are based off of like transactions. Like I'll give you some money and and help if you do this thing that doesn't feel good. Like if you allow me to abuse you, I'll I'll give you money, but that means I can abuse you. Like that's that's kind of like in in the relationships that you're in and the relationships that your divine masculine is in. Whether it's a romantic partnership, whether it's a, a relationship with their family, um, there's like, there's a purification that is being, you're being invited to, to purify your relationships this year so that you can be together. If you've got all this energy going into unhealthy partnerships that aren't meant to be there, that's, you're not going to magically have the energy for your union. Seal up those energy leaks and claim your true divine relationship with your ultimate lover and God, right? God designed you to be with your twin flame. You're allowed to be with your twin flame. It's not separate from God. Let's keep going. What else? Ooh, we got envy. So if you um, watched my video on jealousy, oh, it's so good. This, this envy card, you're going to be clearing that up this year too. I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. Okay. So there's like, it, this is, we're going deeper into releasing this comparison that we have. Um, your twin flame too. Like, did you know that your twin flame may, you know, be envious on some level, maybe not sharing that they're envious outwardly, but this is something to rework in the mind and you start with you. So watch my video on jealousy and find out what it really is. Like what is jealousy and how to use it to your benefit on your twin flame journey. I really want you to watch that video. I'm going to probably put like a little tag up here or it had, it's appeared or it appeared a second ago. Um, but yeah, or you could just look for it. So, um, the thing, the gist is that what you desire, what you envy is actually signaling to you that you desire that thing and that God is putting that thing in your reality to say, you can claim this, this is yours. Do you choose it? Right. It's not there to taunt you. Um, so this is going to be cleared this year. You're going to transform envy into desire, and then you're going to attain your desires should you decide to follow the spiritual path, right? Okay, finally, you got patience. Interesting, you got that twice. It's really, I, I just want to reiterate, see, there's patience again. I want to reiterate that patience is not about waiting. It's not about waiting. I think a lot of people, when they hear the word patience, they have like triggers because they're like, oh, I was told that as a kid, be patient, be patient. And what actually people were telling you as a kid was wait, but that's not, that's not divine. It's not about waiting. It's more about understanding the process. It's a process, not waiting. It's not divine timing. It's divine order, right? It's about, you know, you and your twin flame realizing that like if you want to bake a cake let's say that your harmonious union is a cake if you want to bake a cake you need to crack the egg and put 
the materials together, like the flour, the sugar, mix it up, put it in the oven for a specific amount of time. That's a process, right? If you don't mix it well, you leave an ingredient out or you don't bake it long enough, it's going to taste like that, you know? So do it right. Do, do the steps in order. Don't, um, don't take the cake out of the oven too early. Now this isn't a, you don't have to wait this like, uh, like looking at your watch, like when is this going to happen? Well, the thing is, is if you've chosen your harmonious union, if, if you're choosing your harmonious twin flame union, your twin flame is also choosing that. And the second piece of that is that it's already happening right now. So you can let go of this waiting for it to come because it's already here. So there's no waiting. Just like when you bake a cake, probably a lot of you don't get upset about knowing that the timer is going to go off in 45 minutes, right? You just know the timer is going to go off in 45 minutes. I can relax and I can get some other stuff done. That is the same exact energy as approaching your union. Now this timer, the analogy goes away when you realize that you are directly responsible for the pace at which your union comes together. That's right. You are responsible for the pace in which your union comes together. How is this? So I said that in the beginning part of the video, I would share with you some steps, how all these things that I'm talking about in the cards, how do you make that possible and how does it come from abstract down to concrete? So I love concrete. I'm a material girl and I know that the material world is imbued with spirit. So it's all one thing, right? How do you do this? So the teachings of union I've shared about involve um, healing separation consciousness at the core with a process called the mirror exercise and through classes. So it works. And I know that some of you may not trust because you've tried many things, but if you work this process, if you diligently set about to healing separation consciousness and um, really working the process as you're guided to do, it works. So the mirror exercise is four steps. It's found in this book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. That paired with Ascension Coaching, which is who I am. I'm a master certified Ascension Coach and I work with Twin Flames all the time to guide them into their perfect harmonious life with their ultimate lover. Um, and watching Twin Flame Ascension School, that is probably the most power powerful thing you can do is to invest in your boat, right? Like that, where's that boat picture? Yeah get a boat, get, and I'm telling you what the boat is. It's the teachings of union. It's twin flame ascension school, ascension coaching, and practicing the mirror exercise. So there's many different ways you can approach that. Some of you are ready to go all in and I want, I want the fastest, best, most indestructible boat. Good. Go all in, get all three things, right? Um, for those of you who, who may be like I was and was kind of, I, I was a little hurt because I had been, I tried so many things and they did not seem to work. They didn't. I've, I've been there. And so it wasn't a matter of like money. I mean, I spend money on, on things all the time, as do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. You would have to have like some device to watch it on, right? Like maybe some of you or anyway, you don't need to tell me about your situation. But there's not necessarily um, a... Uh, fear about money it's more like am I am I gonna get a, a return on this investment like because there's a tuition fee associated with twin flame ascension school and coaching I get it but there are different ways that you can taste it so that you can see oh my gosh this is so powerful right like you need to know that it works that's why there's a free introductory twin flame ascension course that's why I'm going to be hosting in the month of January, very affordable mirror exercise workshops, right? Because I, I want you to see that it works, right? I want to give you a taste of it so that you know that it works, like te test driving a car, right? Like you don't want to ever buy a car that you don't test drive. That's why, um, you know, I don't, I don't really trust people who don't give me an opportunity to test something out. Now, at the end of the day, you do have to, um, when you test something, you have to like be sincere about it, right? Like don't, don't come in expecting like the thing to heal you for you without you 
doing some sort of inner work, right? Like you've got to change. That's, that's probably a key. I think um, people don't say that enough is that, you know, you have to be ready to change. You have to be willing to do something different. You can't just um, come to the school or uh, it's like going to a gym. Like I, I paid for my gym membership. Why am I not getting in shape? Well, because you're not going to the gym, right? <laughs> or you've only gone like four times in the month. That's what I mean. Like it's, it does work, but it is also for those who are only those who are ready to end separation consciousness and be with your twin flame. My gosh, you know, are you really, do you, those of you who are watching this and, and have watched to the end, are you really ready to be with your twin flame or are you more comfortable being in separation? Like ask yourself that. Are you ready to, to take these steps? Because it will work. <laughs> it's worked for me in places that, you know, I, I didn't think Josh and I would ever heal. And, um, you know, it's, I, I didn't, I, I uncovered so much about myself through this, this work. Um, finally got the support that I needed that I never got as a child. Anyway, I can go on and on about it. And I'd love to talk to you more about it. I want to invite you also to an introductory Twin Flame Ascension coaching session because all of my readings, I want to give you that next step. So try it. Try a Twin Flame Ascension, in, introductory Twin Flame Ascension coaching session with me. You can check the links to my website at Twin Flames Heart's Desire under this video. And I will see you in my next reading. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye-bye.